Welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for August 1st. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So Virgos, your focus and card of the day is your own card with the Hermit. Um, clarifying it is temperance. So it could be going within silence, trying to heal, trying to find balance. I'm going to tip you down so we can cards here for the day. All right, Spirit Angels, what messages do you have for Virgo? In your pre-shuffle, you had the Two of Cups and the Two of uh, Pentacles. Now you're having the Two of Swords and the Three of Cups. Your person has the King of Pentacles in reverse, the Lovers, and the Princess of Wands. Could be Queen of Wands. That's the second time she's at the bottom of the deck. The energy coming in for the relationship is the King of Wands and the Nine of Cups. Uh, Nine of Pentacles was wanting to split. What's Spirit's advice here? Queen of Wands. And the outcome. Actually, let's get one more for the Queen of Wands here. That's Queen of Wands here for the Hermit. All right. What's the outcome of this situation or relationship? Nine of Wands. Let's get one more. One more for the outcome for Virgo. All right. The Five of Swords in Reverse and the Eight of Swords in Reverse. Bottom of the deck and shared energy is the Four of Pentacles with Temperance and the Sun. Well, both of your focus cards came out with the Hermit and Temperance. The two most spiritual cards in the deck, for me anyways. Your next card out is the Moon. So, dealing with secrets, dealing with secret feelings, dealing with the dark side of yourself. Um, Virgos, you need to make a choice in a third party situation here. And you're just putting the blinders on to the choice that you have to make. Why is it two of swords and the three of cups here? For Virgo. The High Priestess, so keeping quiet, keeping secrets about who you truly love, about the person that you truly want to be with. The person that you want this new beginning with could be a secret. My goodness. All right, the person that you're dealing with, they could be sending you a message today um, about the instability of the relationship, um, about the ba imbalance that is currently um in the situation due to this third party. Um, they could be making a choice in the situation as well. Let's see why the lovers, yeah, they feel this is your soulmate or they feel that the two of you are soulmates. Why is this King of Pentacles here in reverse? The Queen of Cups. And they have this unconditional love for you, but there seems like a, like a, I don't know. Why is a why is a queen here? Yeah, I was just gonna say it seems so flighty. Um, this person in this position is your third party with the empress there. Um, but in your energy coming towards you, you are going to feel like your prayers have been been answered. Uh, there's gonna be like happy, secure future coming in with this King of Wands that is all about. You know, they're wise, they're consci conscientious, educated, um, they're devo devoted, loyal. And that is coming in for you when you commit to one person to love. Um, why is the King of Wands and the Nine of Cups here? So you could be moving towards this fire sign that's been taking a long time because one of you needs to move away from a third party situation. In your spirit's advice, you need to follow your heart. You need to follow your passion. Um, you could be needing to move towards somebody um, for a second chance. 
you need to go within. You're ignoring your options right now. You're ignoring the decision you have to make, but it's time to go within and find who truly makes you passionate about life. I do have a king and queen of wands here, so this is your, uh, you know, quote unquote, perfect person. This is who you're meant to be with. Um, the sun is trying to lead you to this person, but you're holding on too tight to a situation that you're currently in out of fear. Why is the Queen of Wands and Hermit here? Virgo, it just feels like this story has been going on for weeks, months. Yeah, the imbalance of energy needs to stop. You need to take a leap of faith um, and know that it's all going to be okay. It's all going to work out. The outcome of this, one of you is about ready to walk away due to the, the constant battle of getting your attention of, whoa. So yeah, this person could just walk away, Virgo, especially if they're a fire sign. They're tired of being left in the dark about things. Why is the five of swords here? Okay, there's that moon again. So they're getting out from, they're no longer feeling stuck by this, by this relationship, by this situation. They're allowing their intuition to lead them and guide them. You are being encouraged to do that as well, Virgo. Um, but it seems like you're not walking away from a, a negative situation um, because of all the illusions and delusions that that you're believing. There's a lot of confusion here still. Why is the moon here? Why is the moon here for Virgo? Yeah. One of you is walking away, no longer feeling stuck moving forward and out of the dark. Is this Virgo or their person? Who is this walking away? Who's walking away? Well, whoever walks away is walking away in truth. Whoever's awoke out of the out of the situation. Yeah. This is a divine masculine. Um, one of you is walking away. There's that leap of faith at the bottom again. There it came out. All right. Clarifying the six of swords. You're walking away from a marriage in order to have this new beginning with your divine feminine or divine masculine. One of the two. But awakening has to happen. An action has to be taken, and it has to be taken soon. Because if that cup isn't offered, and you're not seeing what this person has to uh, offer your life, they will move forward, and uh, more than likely out of this connection. So Virgo, it's time for you to go within to find that inner light, and move towards your divine partner, if that's what you feel you are meant to do. So let's get a card of guidance for you. One card for our Virgos. Okay, that's way too many. One card, oops. All right. Bodies of water. Spend time near water, such as the lake, river, or ocean, to recharge your batteries. An undying love. The love you have shared is eternal, regardless of the situation. Next card under that is true love. The romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love. But you must find some solace in some quiet time. Um, so you can contemplate and meditate in silence. Be strong. The situation is calling for you to um, be strong. You are stronger than you think you are. And your strength brings you to a happy outcome, Virgo. So, hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed Thursday. I will see you tomorrow. God bless.